Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be doing a Superman figure plus some figures from my Goodwill Outlet Toy Haul. These are all figures from my Goodwill Outlet Toy Haul that are small. But they are action figures. First on the list, we got the favorite guy in tights. It's Superman. Do, 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 do. You know what I mean? Because he's Superman. He's literally that cool. But yeah, we got Superman. And this is a variant of Superman I do, did not have. But I got this at the Goodwill outlet to compare it. Here it is next to another Superman I own. They both look pretty good, if I do say so myself. And that's all there is to say for the Superman action figures. Posability on this Superman is impressive in the arms. Because you get hinged elbow joints, which is really nice. So you'd be like, put up your dukes. Put up your dukes. I'm going to pound you. I'm going to knock you into the ground, Lex Luthor. So put up your dukes. I just couldn't help that because literally it's like that with his arms. No bend at the knee with this figure. It is an old school Superman, so it, there is a letdown on it. And it looks like the arms are on a ball joint hinge. So you can get him out like this and be like, spread out his arms like that. Otherwise, a good-looking Superman, if I do say so myself. Oh, I knocked the tripod. This might be from Batman vs. Superman, Superman. If you know this particular Superman and you know which movie it comes from, then please do me a favor and leave me a comment on this guy. Say for Superman, and now we're going to look at our other figures we just threw in, just because I had a small Superman. I threw in some Jurassic Park action. Oh yeah, I love Jurassic Park. But this is the first thing we're going to look at. It is a noise-making T-Rex. It's a knockoff, but still a quality-grade knockoff. Look at that fierce-looking T-Rex, man. This thing would scare my dog, Teddy, scared if he ran into this guy. He can move his legs. That's due to the posability. Arms can move. And his eyes light up. Oh, man, that is so cool. That is why I picked him up from my Goodwill outlet, because he looks so cool looking. And so well detailed for a knockoff. T-Rex bot. I just love this. This is definitely going to have a place on my new Jurassic Park shelf. Next on the list, we got a Velociraptor. Oh, man. Velociraptors. I remember this guy who from Jurassic Park number one, and he was like, clever girl. Until it eventually got him, I think. And this is a well-detailed and well-painted Velociraptor, you get some posability in the arms, which is really nice. Legs, you get some movement, but they're really tight on my copy. You, looks like you can get some movement out of it, but it's super tight. And I'm afraid I'm going to break it, so that's all there is to say for this one. And, of course, we got this knockoff safari guy. Or jungle guy. He reminds me of the guy from Jurassic Park. That's why I gave him the sniper rifle like the guy from the actual Jurassic Park movie. Because he reminds me of him so much. And that's why he's going on the shelf. Because he's the closest I got to that character right now. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. For more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land. 
and I enjoyed making this video.